Right, hello, year 11, perhaps even year 10 as well. Uh, this is the first of a series of super case studies that we're going to be doing, and I'm going to kick off with Three Gorges Dam in China. So, without further ado, firstly, what is a super case study? Well, the super case study is one that can be used for perhaps even both Unit 1 and Unit 2 exams. All right? You need to have some detailed case study knowledge of a specific series of examples. So something like the Three Gorges um, exam, um, Dan is double bubble because not only are you revising it to help you with Unit 1, but you're also helping you to revise it with Unit 2. So as you can see on the screen, we could use, for example, Three Gorges Dan in the Water World Unit, which is Unit 1, and we could also use it for Development Dilemmas, which is Unit 2. Right, and there are a number of different case studies that you could apply to more than one topic, both Unit 1 and Unit 2. So, we move on then. Here's an example of an exam question. Right, using examples, examine the costs and benefits of large-scale water management schemes. Well, thinking about it, yeah, the Three Gorges Dam is a suitable example because it is a large-scale water management project. Secondly, right, Look at the question carefully, it mentions costs and benefits, so it is crucial that if you're going to hit 6 out of 6, that you don't just talk about the costs, you don't just talk about the benefits, you do both. So then, let's have a look at some of the potential costs and benefits, and, and those of you watching on YouTube, or wherever you're watching it on, please pause the clip, you, you know, have a look at the slide, Maybe not, you might have note down some examples of costs and benefits you haven't considered before, but don't try and write it down while I'm speaking, yeah, just pause the clip. So, you know, you've got a selection of different costs and benefits here. So, undoubtedly, Three Gorges Dam, massive engineering project. It costs huge amounts of money, billions and billions of dollars. However, there are benefits as well, in terms of it has reduced the risk of flooding along the Yangtze River. Yeah, it's improved water supply. It's producing lots of green and um, carbon emission-free energy. But at the same time, it has had a number of environmental uh, costs. Wildlife has su suffered in the region. The very rare um, river do dolphin is believed to have been uh, have now become extinct in the Yangtze River, probably down to the construction of the Three Gorges Dam. Vitally important that you get these little bits of detail in. So rather than just saying, oh, the Three Gorges Dam is incredibly expensive, actually quote a figure. How much did it actually cost? If you're talking about the fact that um, large number of people have been displaced, have been have to move. So you can see here, 1.3 million people have been forced to move because of the construction of the dam, and then obviously the reservoir, the large reservoir that's built up behind the dam. So attention to detail will create a favorable impression in the examiner's mind and get you those extra marks to push you towards that magic six out of six on this particular question. Right now, this question is from development dilemma. So the previous slide was more water world. This is a question that you could apply three dodges down to on the development dilemma's topic. So, using an aim example, examine the impact of a top-down development project on different groups of people. Right. So again, it's appropriate because the Three Gorges Dam is an example of a top-down development scheme. It's been decided upon by the government, in this case, then obviously the impacts have fed down onto the local population. Secondly, yeah, you've got to maximise your marks, you've got to think about the impacts this time, and notice also different groups of people. So it isn't good enough just to talk about maybe the impact that the Three Gorges Dam has had on local farmers. You need to think of different groups of people and how they might be impacted upon in both a positive and a negative way. So, some possible examples. Right? We've got four. We've got local people, we've got farmers, we've got industry, we've got environmentalists. So clearly, environmentalists, for reasons that I've mentioned before pre in, the, in the previous slide, it's had quite a significant uh, negative environmental impact, despite the fact that it is, you know, producing very little in terms of carbon carbon emissions, right? However, some people, or some groups of people, for example, industrialists, have benefited by the reliable and cheaper form of, of energy provided by the dam. In terms of the actual construction phase, which took many years, local construction companies, local people, benefited from the jobs that they, they got from the construction phase of the dam. 
We've also got farmers, and we've also got local people as well. So please pause the clip and have a look at the different ways these people were impacted upon. And again, whoops, slight tech level, yeah. Um, it's vital on the question, read the question carefully and talk about impact, but make sure you name at least two or three different groups of people to make sure that you hit that six out of six. Thank you.